Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I wanted to talk about optimization for ad delivery with your Facebook ads. It's a setting that you'll see fairly low down at the uh, the ad set level with your Facebook ad campaigns, and depending on the campaign objective you choose, you'll see different options here. So I'm going to give you two sort of campaign objectives that people use all the time, and that you want to make sure you select the right optimization for ad delivery. Now, before I do that, I just want to quickly explain what optimization for ad delivery actually means. What it is, is you're telling Facebook, I want you to get me these things, to optimize my ad delivery for these things. What does that mean? So let's say, for example, you use the conversions objective and you select conversions as your optimization for ad delivery um, selection. You're basically saying to Facebook, deliver my, in a, deliver my ads in a way that is most likely to get me as many conversions as possible. So Facebook may work out, for example, that certain times of the day people are more likely to convert for whatever it is you're advertising. So they're going to put your ads, they're going to deliver your ads more, let's say, during the evening um, than they are during the working day or vice versa. They might work out that certain people within your target market are more likely to convert, so they're advertised to them over other people. They might work out that certain placement options where your ad's delivered in the different areas of Facebook and Instagram. So let's say your ad shows up on a Facebook feed as opposed to Marketplace or Messenger and it's more likely to convert there. Then Facebook's going to adjust that and go, aha, Instagram Stories is a great placement for your ads. We know that people are highly likely to convert. Therefore, they put your ads there. So that's what optimization for ad delivery means. Now, the two campaign objective examples I want to give, one being conversions. If you're using the conversion objective, there are some other options you can use when it comes to... Um, you know, selecting that optimization for ad delivery, I would strongly recommend that you just go with conversions. I don't really see why you would go with anything else. Um, when you're selecting the conversions objective, conversions is what you want. Don't mess around with landing page views because you think, oh, I'm not going to generate enough conversions. You need 50 plus conversions a week. No, you don't. We've tested this a bunch of times. You can run a conversions campaign very effectively and it outperform a campaign that's optimizing for landing page views, even if you're generating 15, 20 conversions a week, no problem. So that's the first one. The next one is if you're using the traffic objective. Now, the default, well, depending on your ad account, to be honest, sometimes the default is link clicks. The default optimization for ad delivery is link clicks. But you don't want to use link clicks if you're using the traffic objective. You're trying to send as many people to your website as possible. You don't want to optimize for link clicks. You want to optimize for landing page views. That's very important. If you select link clicks as your optimization for ad delivery, Facebook will put your ad in placements that are most likely to generate clicks. Now, that can include things like the audience network and, and lower quality placement options, and it can include a lot of accidental clicks. On the audience network and things like that, there are loads of accidental clicks. If your optimization for ad delivery is set to link clicks, Facebook will go, great, let's put them there. This is getting lots of clicks. But of course, accidental clicks aren't gonna help you in your business. They aren't gonna help you generate leads, generate sales, anything like that. So you wanna select landing page views because if someone accidentally clicks on one of your ads, um, they're not gonna make it to your landing page. They're not gonna wait for that to load. They're just gonna go, ah, oh, really annoyed and click the back button. That's what happens, okay? Whereas if you select landing page views, Facebook will know that when people click and then they bounce straight back off or they don't even make it, that's not registering to them as a landing page view. They know that that's not what you want and they won't optimize for that action. They will instead optimize for the people that wait for your landing page to load. So you're gonna end up with a much higher quality traffic if you optimize for landing page views and select your optimization for ad delivery as landing page views when you're running the traffic objective. Don't do it when you're running the conversion objective, but when you're doing the traffic objective, that's quite important. So hopefully that video has been useful. One thing I wanna quickly mention before I go is my Facebook ads mastermind group. It's my free Facebook group. You can join for free, fantastic community. You've got more than 9,000 people, lots of which are agency owners like myself, real Facebook advertising experts that are more than willing to answer your questions and help you out. So if you've got things around Facebook advertising, you're wondering, should I do this, should I do that? Click on the link in the video description. There'll be one down below. Click on that, go ahead and join my group for free, join our fantastic community, ask your questions, and hopefully you'll uh, get some real value out of it and uh, should help improve the results you're getting from your Facebook ads. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I release videos like this uh, multiple times a week and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks guys, bye-bye.